guys welcome back to another video i'm tiana if you're new here and if you're new make sure you subscribe on my channel i like to talk about beauty health hair and fashion related topics so if you're into any of those make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you're not new welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be unboxing a beauty counter order that i made about a couple days ago whenever they had a 15 percent off sale so before the discount everything was 300 dollars. so i'm just going to show you guys what i got and then show you how much everything was this is not a sponsored video i'm still going to give you guys my honest opinion about the brand and the products itself because i've used some in the past but yeah i'll get to that in the in the video so um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and unbox these so this is the box it's a really small package there's nothing much to it, it says beauty counter under here and then it says you're about to clean up on this side of the box so let me go ahead and open this it's been a couple days so i like already forgot what i purchased it looks like i got five things yeah so let's go ahead and open it so in the box they just put some stuffing like this and this is everything that i got you guys can see all right so let's go ahead and unbox this okay so one of the first things that i got in this package is the skin twin foundation so as you guys know, if you've been following along with my journey and other videos, I've talked about how I, I want to like clean up my lifestyle and that's to include what I'm consuming, like what I'm eating, what I'm putting on my face, what I do to my hair, like everything is just going to be clean going forward. So I wanted to go with some clean beauty and I know Beauty Counter is really known for having clean ingredients in their products. So there's a lot of things we shouldn't be putting on our face. So I decided to go with Beauty Counter. I told you guys in another video that I was thinking about switching foundations um, because I was pretty much nearing the end of mine and I decided to go with Beauty Counter. So this is what I got. I received a sample from my naturopath of different colors just so I could like swatch it and see what matched my skin the best. And I think this one is the one that matched the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it for you guys. And it says apply with fingertips or brush, flexible coverage to wear your way. And if you guys noticed, I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So I really wanted something that was full coverage because that's what I'm used to. That's like my go-to foundation. And I don't know, I'm really skeptical if this is gonna like do the trick for me, but hopefully it's buildable. So, I'll try that on in a second. I just want to get through everything first. Another thing that I ordered was the vitamin C serum. So this is the brightening. It's supposed to brighten up the dark spots in your skin. And I have already gone through one whole bottle of this. And then I purchased a second bottle, which I'm currently on. But I'm, I'm maybe like one fourth of the way through it. But I went ahead and got a third one because I know this is going to be a repeat purchase. And I really like what the first one has done. I know I took a before video, so I'm going to show you guys. Before I started using the product um, in the first bottle, this is what my skin looked like. And then I'm also going to show you, I'll take a video like right after I finish filming this video and show you guys what my skin looks like now. I feel like there is some improvement. So with continued use, I think I can get to my desired goal before I just go get these dark spots lasered off of my face. I'll put the price on the screen somewhere for all of these products, but I think this is 82 or something like that. So I had to get this on sale because this is a this is a very steep price for this product, but I do think it's worth it. It's really good. All the ingredients clean. It does what it says it's gonna do. Yeah, so 100% love this product. So the next thing that I got is some concealer. This is the concealer. So I wanted to get a concealer that kind of matched what I was using before. I was using um, Urban Decay. I just had to completely guess because I didn't have a sample for this. I didn't know what my color would be. I just really did a best guess. But um, ooh, this looks kind of light. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try it on for you guys too. Um, but I do like the packaging. It's very simple. Very simple design. I like the way this looks and this is what they look like together. So this is going to be my new duo if everything works out right with the colors and everything. This is what I'm going to be using. I'll try that combo together and show you guys. And I'm so glad that this came in. It actually came in last night. So I wanted to unbox it for you guys today because tomorrow I'm going to be filming. Um, I don't know if some of you guys know but I moved to LA because I wanted to act. So I'm going to get back into the scene but I wanted to try some new makeup instead of using what I usually wear. So moving on to the next product, I have the Dew Skin. This is a tinted moisturizer with SPF. 
So I'm not an advocate for SPF. I believe that we need the sun. Y'all know I'm a natural being, so we do need the sun. However, the face is probably the one and only area that I would put SPF on. And I would definitely like wear a hat and stuff or a visor because I want the sun on my head. Just so you don't get like wrinkles and stuff like that or make your dark spots even worse or like get age spots or something like that. So I think this tinted moisturizer is something that would work for that so this is also going to be more of like an everyday skin tint moisturizer because i don't always want to throw makeup and foundation on my face especially because i use like full coverage so i feel like it's a lot on my face so this would just be more so for like i'm gonna go run errands really quick i don't need to beat down on my face like this this will get the job done i'm gonna like do a split and put this on one side and put the foundation on the other just so you guys can see the coverage and they didn't have as many colors in this, as many shades to choose from in this. I think they had like maybe three darker shades. So this one is in the color dark. I should probably say what the shade this foundation is in. This is dark 520 and then the concealer is tan one. So we'll see what that looks like. But I'm really interested to try the tinted moisturizer because I've never used a product like this. So we'll see. This is what the applicator looks like. Yeah, so I'll show you guys when I put that on. And then next, moving on, this is the last thing that I got. So this is the Counter Plus Overnight Resurfacing Peel. So this is what you would use at night. So I would use this in the morning, the Vitamin C Serum. And then when I wash my face, do my nighttime routine, the resurfacing one is the one I would put on my face for the nighttime. So I should probably show you guys like an updated skincare routine because I've just revamped everything so you guys can see what I'm using clean ingredients and everything this is all glass and that's another thing about this company they use glass um, instead of like a lot of plastic so you want your items to come in glass especially anything you're gonna consume or put on your face you should really store it in glass containers I'm excited to use this I think I have like huge pores and I think my skin could get like use a little bit more tightening so we'll see if this resurfacing product will do the job also one last thing this is not an additional purchase but this is another one of their products that i use this is their instant eye makeup remover solution it looks like a mix of two different ingredients you just shake it and then put it on your eye so i use waterproof mascara no matter like what i have on my eye i also use waterproof eyeliner this takes it right off so this was a sample i think it's worth the price so i might next time i make a purchase with them i might go for the bigger one because i love how well this takes off my makeup it doesn't take long at all and yeah it just comes right off so recommend this product too so let me go ahead and try on these foundations for you guys just so you can get an idea of how well it works especially on someone with hyperpigmentation and discoloration in the skin because like this area around my mouth is darker like i've also mentioned in another video so we'll see how well that works if not i'll just continue with my technique i've also made another video on that so you guys can check that out on how i'm able to make an even skin tone um even though I do have darker areas on my face. So yeah, let's go ahead and apply these products. All right, I'm bringing you guys in close so I can show you guys what I have going on on my face. This is the tinted moisturizer, like I said, shade dark. So let's see what this is hidden for. I'm just gonna take two pumps like this. Maybe I just need one pump. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna rub that on my face. Okay, it's very creamy. I thought it was going to be a lot thinner, but um, oh, I'm wondering if I need a darker color. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I just got to rub it in some. I don't know. We'll see. And I'm hoping that their sunscreen doesn't leave like a white cast or anything on your face. So we'll see how well that works. Also wonder if it's going to be shiny like this so my skin is not sh normally shiny so this is before and this is after i can see myself like throwing this on really quick before i head out especially if i don't feel like doing my makeup all the way because sometimes makeup is, has just like become a chore for me and i was telling my friend that like i used to enjoy doing makeup but sometimes it's just like a whole process and i'm just over it so this is what it's looking like what do you guys think can you see a difference it looks good on the camera from what I can see, but I have to look in the mirror later and see if it 
is really doing what I think it's doing. All right, so next, let's go with the foundation on this side. So yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put this little bit on, let it focus. There we go. So I'm just gonna put that on my face. Let me let it focus first, all right. This is what it's looking like. Also, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really have a scent um, or anything. And this was also creamy, so I like the texture for both of them. And yeah, I like the, mm. I know, I, if y'all are thinking what I'm thinking, I think the tinted moisturizer looks a lot better, but I think it's just the, that I need to build this up on my face a little before I can get like, a real judgment for it so I don't know let me do like another pump I've never put foundation on with my fingers by the way this is new for me all right so let's just see what that looks like and I'm also just interested overall in seeing how well beauty counter works on darker skin darker skin tones I like it I think it's a good match well I mean when you look at this it doesn't but this looks way more vibrant than this so just imagine like the whole face with this I do like this too but I also like this so I don't know I was torn between like three different shades on their website when I was trying to pick one but whenever I used the sample I figured this one worked a lot better so um, ignore that it's not like completely blended into my hairline and everything but you get the idea of what I'm going for so yeah I think this looks nice and of course I would need to blend it into my neck but um yeah I do like it this has I believe this one has red undertone oh wait I did want to show you guys the concealer too so this is the concealer let me go ahead and try this on for you guys so this is the applicator looks just like this so let's see this is really light but i might be able to work with it i don't know we'll have to see that is really light all right i'm back so i went to go grab what i currently use so this is the urban decay all nighter concealer that i was telling you about and i do want to put it on like right under just to see how the colors compare but this is on its last use like whatever i'm about to put on my face right now is the, the dead last of whatever it is so this is what i currently use i don't know maybe it's like a shade or two darker than what i got so i may need to take this beauty counter one back and go with like a shade darker i got a beauty blender here so i don't even know this is way too much concealer for me to even be trying to blend it but this is a little bit lighter so i don't know yeah i might have to take that one back and just get like one shade darker but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to unbox my beauty counter order with you guys just so you can see what i got if you're interested in beauty counter they're very clean so i can advocate for them i'm not a consultant so i want to put that out there i just really like their products and i like i said i've used these two products so i'm interested in trying more of their products because so far i've liked what i've used so i wanted to share with you guys especially if you're like me and you're just cleaning up your lifestyle in general so yeah anyways that's pretty much it for this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure to give this video a thumbs up it really helps with the youtube algorithm and other than that subscribe and i will see you next sunday bye guys